Chest pain very strong but not a heart attack. Look. I'm going to tell you something. There was a day when I was in a morning clinic session, and I received an urgent patient, a man around 45 years old, brought in by co-workers, who had started with very strong chest pain just a few minutes ago. He was screaming in pain. It was very difficult even to examine him. And in that initial assessment, until proven otherwise, the first and main hypothesis was that he was having a heart attack, having a myocardial infarction. The clinic was in the same building as the hospital where I work, and I didn't waste any time. I provided the initial care, dropped everything I was doing, we had to cancel appointments, reschedule some people for other times, and I took the patient directly to the emergency room. In the emergency room, the entire protocol for treating a person with chest pain and suspected heart attack was followed. Tests, electrocardiogram, pain relief medication. And right away, from the electrocardiogram, we saw that everything was normal without any suggestive findings of a heart attack. The pain began to alleviate shortly after the medications and further laboratory tests, in addition to the electrocardiogram, showed that the condition was indeed not a heart attack. And that was the best news of that encounter because it wasn't a more serious condition, and everything turned out well for my patient. But you might be wondering what happened then and what diagnosis he had that could cause such intense chest pain, to the point of considering and believing in the possibility of a heart attack, but it wasn't a heart attack. Costochondritis, have you heard of it? Also known in some cases as Tietze syndrome. That's the topic I'm going to talk to you about today. What is costochondritis? How do I know if I have costochondritis? Where does it hurt, and what is the pain like in costochondritis? What relieves costochondritis? I am Carlo Cunha, I am a family doc, and this is my health pill for today. I'll get straight to the point, as you know me, that's a characteristic of this channel. I'll just ask you to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, there are still many people who watch the videos here on Doctor for Life and aren't subscribed to the channel. So do that. Subscribe down below and hit the bell to receive notifications whenever there's a new video. This helps me a lot because it contributes to the YouTube algorithm sending this video to more people. And getting good health information to more people can help a lot of individuals. Costochondritis is an inflammation of the cartilages that connect the ribs to the sternum bone, which is the bone in the chest. Costo, referring to ribs, chondro, to cartilages, and chondritis, to cartilage inflammation. The sternum is the bone in the middle of the chest, it functions to support the clavicles and ribs. The ribs attach to the sternum. And at this transition between the ribs and the sternum, there is a framework of cartilage. I'm putting an image on the screen for you to understand better. You can see the sternum in the middle of the chest, the rib arcs, the ribs, and at the transition, those bluish-gray structures are the cartilages. These cartilages can become inflamed and cause a lot of pain, and this pain can be so intense that it feels like a heart attack as was the case with my patient I mentioned at the beginning of this video. And this is the main warning symptom. Pain right in the middle of the chest. As the pain is triggered by inflammation of the cartilage, it tends to hurt when pressure is applied, when the cartilage is pressed. And it's more common on the left side. That's why there's confusion with the possible diagnosis of a heart attack. This characteristic tenderness upon palpation, hurting when pressed, in general, distinguishes it from cardiac pain. We know that cardiac pain doesn't usually localize to a specific point in the chest or be triggered by palpation. Cardiac pain tends to be more widespread, with a sensation of tightness in the chest, often radiating to the neck or left arm. With costochondritis, a person might experience pain when coughing, pain when breathing. As we breathe, these cartilages here in the ribs allow the movement of the lungs, the rib arcs expand when we inhale, leading to movement of the rib cage. When these cartilages are inflamed, this movement becomes painful for the person. But what causes costochondritis? You might be asking yourself that question, right? I know, I'm getting to know you. If you're here on Doctor for Life, it's because you're very interested in knowing about health, these medical topics we discuss here on the channel. There isn't a specific cause for costochondritis. It can appear in a person who engaged in intense physical activity, or some repetitive movement work, some traumatic situation or injury in the chest area, if the person has a disease that triggers a persistent cough, chronic cough, 
bronchitis, it can develop costochondritis from excessive coughing, and there's also no specific test for diagnosis. Costochondritis is diagnosed based on symptoms and by ruling out other causes of chest pain, as was the case with my patient. In general, costochondritis is not a serious condition. It can cause intense pain, as I already mentioned. But when I say it's not a serious condition, it's because most of the time it naturally disappears and may not even require medication. I can even tell you the initial recommendations for treating a person with costochondritis, as much as possible, rest, apply a warm compress to the painful area, and avoid movements that could worsen the condition, avoid lifting weight or engaging in impact sports. It's also important to learn and perform some gentle stretches for that area, and you should seek medical attention to have your symptoms properly evaluated. If necessary, the doctor attending to you can prescribe pain relievers, anti-inflammatories, or even recommend physical therapy depending on the strength and type of pain. I hope you liked this video and found it useful and interesting to learn about one of the diagnoses that can present with chest pain, costochondritis. If you really liked it, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and share this video on your social media. It helps me bring this information to more people. I am Carlo Cunha, I am a family doctor, and this was my health pill for today.